Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bringing you a lovely video on why sine squared of x plus cos squared of x, why is that equal to 1? We are going to be proving one of the most famous trig identities, but before we begin, please drop a like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So the first step is to basically create a right angle triangle, very, very straightforward. We're going to then label each side of this triangle and don't forget your angle basically. And the, the reason for this is we're going to try to solve for each side of this triangle. More precisely, we're going to solve for the A side and the B side. So we're going to start with the A side. We know for A that we can apply Sokotoa, more precisely, sine of x is equal to opposite over adjacent, and we can find an expression in terms of A. So the opposite side with respect to x would be this A side over here, and the hypotenuse is always the longest side. So we're going to replace A and C into this equation. And we are then going to basically solve it and solve for A, really, right? So you're going to have A is equal to C times sine of X. We are then going to do the same thing for B. And this time we're going to be using cos of X is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So the adjacent side respect to X is this side right over here. And the hypotenuse is still the same. And we're going to replace B and C in this equation and then solve for B. So B is going to be equal to C times cos of X. We are then going to apply Pythagoras theorem, more precisely this formula. So we're going to replace our A and B term into this formula right over here. And we are then going to simplify this by distributing the square term. And what you are going to notice is that, you know, there's a C squared term here and there's a C squared term over there. So we can factor out a C squared. And on the left hand side and the right hand side respectively, they have a C squared, so they both cancel out. And what you're really going to be left with is sine of squared of x plus cos squared of x is equal to 1. And this is how you prove the most famous trig identity. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.